Okay. Before anything else, please turn off your mind for a moment. Good day, everyone. Welcome to the class today. If you are in this match between two teams, Team A and Team B will be arguing regarding the issue about lowering the age of criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old. These debates can be an assessment towards the intellect of the debaters towards the social issue prevailing in our society. I am Maria Cyrus San and Rubia, will be standing as the moderator in this debate. For the I would like to ask each team to introduce themselves and determine their standing in the team. Team A, kindly introduce yourselves. I am John Ray Ferro, first speaker from Team A. I am Lujum Katingan, the second speaker of Team A. Of the same age. Hello everyone, I am Melvin Kenyete and I am the last speaker of Team A. Okay, Deep, please introduce yourself. I'm from the Team B, first speaker. I am Martel Castillo from Team B and I'll be the second speaker. Hello everyone, I am Camille Pigahete and they're the Team A as the third speaker. I mean Team B. Okay, I guess that's all. A friendly reminder that the debaters are prohibited to use gadgets or any other means of better bring of data along the process of presenting the argument and stand of team. Each team should turn off their mics if their turn are done at no interruption of team members to the presenting team in the argument. If a loss of connection occurs, a team member can substitute to state the argument or the stand of the team. Now we will begin the match. Teams from this point on, there is no substitution, consulting with any other than those inmates or reviewing outside materials. Remember that communicating with either team verbally or non-verbally is impermissible. Each team members will be given a five minute time for constructive speech or the opening speech and three minutes for a battle. I will be reminding you if you only have 10 seconds on the clock. Each team members will have to argue and present their standing with the same of the opposite and the process goes on with with the other team members. But before that, we have to determine your standing with regards to the issue. The issue of lowering the criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old. As what you have seen in the screen, it has two squares depicting white and black colors, which will really de determine your standing in the issue. It also contains the word tails or head. If the team who choose head, head have the ability or the option of presenting their opening or have the other team present first. So team A kindly pick your color. Team A, please pick your color. White. Okay, thank you. Team A chose the affirmative or the pro. You will be you will be arguing why lowering the criminal liability should be so stale and for the if you have chosen the head if either there they will proceed to open a statement anyone from pb what is your choice so I represent for the team B and I decided to regroup to present first and to be followed by okay. as well group. The decision of team B is to let the pro team or the team A present first their opening speech. So members will be presenting the opening speech. You have five minutes to present. And I will give you a reminder when there is only 10 seconds remaining. Your timer starts now. Team A, please present your opening 
Good day, everyone. So, in our country, in the sense, use the negative way. So, they are. Hello, but on the other hello, hand, I can understand you. Hello, sorry. But on the other hand, they knew their option because they killed the victimhood. Lowering age liability will also help the children to protect them and will become aware of their option because they do believe that. Hello, Pharaoh. Oh. I can understand you. Hello? Nan Chapi Fero. Naka Wi-Fi man. There anyone in the team who can sustain the open speech? Team A, you only have one minute on the clock. Hello, guys. Hello, po. Na lang. So, the benefits of lowering the age liability in our country first, it will protect the children against violence. Second, it will make parents to become aware on how to discipline their children. And lastly, it will decrease the crimes in the country that the primary suspect is a minor. That would be all, Po. Okay, is there any? We still have 1 minute and 18 seconds. Okay, if there's none, let's proceed to... Why they are not or they defy the lowering of the age of criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old. Team B, your timer starts now. Please present your opening speech. Anyone from Team B? I wanna write. Team B. Yes. Okay, so um, there is an there is actually an ongoing effort in Congress to lower the minimum age of criminal responsibility in the Philippines below 15 years of age. The proposed lowering by from nine and twelve years against the spirit of child rights. There is a lack of evidence in data that children are responsible for the increase in crime rate committed in the Philippines. Lowering the age of criminal responsibility will not deter adults from abusing children to commit crimes. That lowering the age of criminal responsibility is an act of violence against children because of poverty and exploitation by syndicates. Children and who are exploited and driven by adults. Commit crimes needs to be up to a second chance to reform and to rehabilitate. Scientific studies show that brain function reaches maturity only at the age of 16 years old, propels to lower the age of criminal responsibility. I uh, that children as young as 9 years old are criminally mature and are already capable of experience. Now, if this was the case, then why is the legal age to enter marriage, legal contact, and employment in the Philippines at 18 years old? A 9 years old or even a 12 years old child has not yet even reached the puberty, and their brains are not developed to understand the consequences of action. Lowering the, the minimum age of criminal responsibility is a, a short sighted solution that will mostly affect the children of the poor. Furthermore, the change we want to see most the implementation of the just training children will not teach them accountability for their actions and branding them as criminals removes accountability from us those who are responsible Okay, is there any death in team A or team B? Okay, if there's no we will proceed to free bus. So 
Okay, at this moment, you're on a round one of rebuttal. Both each team will be given three minutes to rebut and sustain their arguments or standing about the issue. And team member may speak one at a time. So team A, you have three minutes on the clock to rebut and state the argument. Your timer starts now. Team A, press your argument, please. Scientific studies show that brain function reaches maturity only around 16 years when reasoning and impulse control. Proposals to lower the age of responsibility are young as 9 years old, are criminally mature, and are all Okay, we still have two minutes. Is there any addition to the argument? So, do you believe uh, that for some instance, a 15 years old, uh, the case, ha case happened in a uh, claim? 15 years like old killed his friend brutally. So, how can you say that he is uh, he is not conscious of his action? Okay, one minute remaining in the chat. How old is the child that I'm telling? Okay, is that all, team A? Okay, so there is no any addition to this statement for round one. A, lowering, not lowering the age of criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old. DMB, you have three minutes on the clock. You may start now. The proposed lowering vary from 9 and 12 years old goes against the letter and spirit of child rights, an act of violence against children. If this was the case, then why is the legal age to enter marriage, legal contracts, and employment in the Philippines at 18 years old? A 9-year-old child has not yet even reached the age of puberty, and their brains are not developed to understand. So this is also according to scientific studies. Kimbi, you still have two minutes on the clock. And besides, I do disagree from lowering the age of criminal liability for the reason there is still children. So there is a bigger possibility that if they are inside the prison, there might be a bigger possibility for them to suffer from violence because they can't even take care of themselves. That's what I said, children. So if they are, if they will be sent to jail, then uh, they are not to a bigger chance uh, to, to a bigger chance of experiencing experiencing violence and to be in danger. So for me, it's not. I am really against with the proposing that agenda with regards of lowering the age of criminal li li liability up to 12 or to. 12 years old. Okay, good. You have still one minute and 10 seconds on the clock. I truly disagree with this ano, implementation. Kasi if we implement this this law, parang denial pa rin natin yung act, yung VALSI, the Republic Act or, or the anti-violence implementation. Which state that the need state in this act that the need to protect the family and the members, particularly women and children from violence. Parang, please, ano din, if being violent naman natin, it's a system and the lowering of the options that I have in front of the game. You have, like, until the clock, Bimbi, is that all? Or you still have something to add? Okay, 10 seconds. The end. And on the end of he and that sending the statement that is about lower accountability from 15 to 12 years old. And so, again, a friendly reminder that the debaters are prohibited to use any gadgets or any other means of gathering data along the process of presenting the argument and standing of the team. Each team should turn off their mics. If the torn is done and no interruption of team members to the presenting teams in the area. The loss of connection force a team member can substitute to state the argument or the stand of the team. So let's proceed to round two. Okay. 
it is time for the pinky for you the land of the uh, I, I mean it's the the time for treatment in eight you have three minutes on the clock your time to start now so here's my argument so there are many cases that the children or sinaping ginagawa nilang uh, at hindi sometimes the the law was being abused because of sinasabing ating rights but on the other hand alam lang ba ano yung ginagawa niya kasi nagawa niya nga yung isang bagay like or just like what happened sa kaso na pinatay yung bata yung kaklase niya so hindi naman pwede natin sabihin na hindi siya aware sa kanyang ginawa o imposible ng studying law so hindi natin pwede masabi na ay aksidente lang kasi imposible ng aksidente na makapatay ang isang bata katulad nung nangyari so hindi lang niya pinatay kundi pinaghiwa-hiwalay pa nila yung katawan to para mahirapan yung naghahanap so I am really agree that age liability must low must be low or bawasan par, uh, gin, para mga, uh, ginagawa nilang excuse yung batas para mga commit sila ng crimes so that would be all po we still have one minute and 50 seconds on the clock is there any additional statement Okay, in addition to general rules, uh, um, the thing is said that if if the children will will be imprisoned at the at their early age, twelve years old, then it will violate their rights. So because of that, because they are children, they are not allowed to be imprisoned because their rights as a child will be violated. What about the rights of minors, like them, who are also victimized by parents of minors? Okay, you still have one minute on the clock. Is that all? Hello, uh, Jen Ray Ferro have said, um, I have watched uh, news in GMA and the news is about the the chopping and burning of of a person of of a man who who was killed by two underage siblings and that uh, that incident was very hideous and the only reason because that why they killed that victim was that uh, because of the you unreturned charger. The so, so the the reason was very uh, was very shallow to kill a person, and that I guess the right of of the young ones are being abused. Okay, because time's up. Team. Thank you for presenting your argument. But at this moment, let's from Team Day with regards to your to Team Team B. A. Anyway, let's do let the statement that Team A have presented. Team B, you have seen it on the clock. You may start now. Point, but then I can, or I mean. How you feel with regards to the situation you just stated about the kids who slaughter his class mates? All right. So for me, this is not the right action to to implement, like uh, sending children in prison. Because uh, in the first place, I believe that uh, the one who should we should give lesson to the children are their parents. So instead of sending their children in prison, why not just talking to the parents? Another thing is that because they are children, they're learning from things. It's either, and instead of sending them to jail, why just not uh, 
implementing or making penal justice because there are instances where children really between wrong and right or they are uh, they have that strong feeling I guess yung pagbugso-bugso sinasabi yung pagbugso-bugso diba usually kasi that is starting point where the children learn from things and hindi nila nakakontrol nila and I also do agree that they are conscious about what they're doing but then it's not just really uh, hindi siya makatao to send children into jail so just imagine if if that is your siblings <laughs> If that is your sibling, so committed a uh, uh, just a simple thing, or yung sinabi nyo, which is very worse naman. So I understand why you have that point where you stated such like that thing. But then to be sent in jail is just too much for children to be in prison. You think ma ma survive sila mag isa don? So yung iba kasi yung yung children na napupunta na papariwara is because of either sila ng poverty, they're in poverty or, or what they are suffering at of the moment. Either they have family problem, a financial struggle, something like that. We do not know what they are suffering. So we cannot just quickly judge that uh, that children. It's either we can do such thing like ano na lang, counseling or first talking to the children. And at least hindi na nila mauulit. But to send in prison, just I guess I can probably uh, thinking abruptly, sending sending them to jail, something like that. I I, I believe the more learning of grasping, of grasping what is, of grasping between things, things between right and wrong. I may say like that. So that would be all. For now. So that's how round do the end. Thank you for the very substantial statement and arguments that both team presented. So let's go on to round three, the last round for rebuttal. We will be starting in team A. Hello. Okay. Three minutes on the clock. Hello. Please state. Yes. Okay. Um, as what uh, Mark Darrell have said that uh, we are going uh, second chance is for everyone, especially for children. But I guess that giving them second chance to reform and to rehabilitate after committing a crime is just like disregarding what they have done and considering that their past crimes is just considerable. That's the, in, and if that's the case, it would be unfair on the part of the victims, just because uh, the suspect or someone that have committed the crime is a child, then patatawarin na agad. After all, ignorance of the law excuses no one. So, um, I guess they must still be held accountable of what they have done, because after all, it's still a crime, and if they uh if they lost lives others lives in their young age um it's still a crime pumatay pa rin sila gumawa pa rin sila ng kasalanan kasalanan and they have to be held accountable of, of their own actions you still have 1 minute and 36 seconds on the clock team A Mr. Mark Adel Castillo, if you are, if you put yourself into the situation, uh, are you willing to forgive the suspect or not? Okay, is there any addition, Team A? You still have one minute and ten seconds. Okay, I guess there is nothing to add from Team A. So, let's hear the statement of the team B with regards to the statement or argument of team A. Team B, you have three minutes on, three minutes on the clock. Please take your stand. Team B. Okay, so I just want to ask Melvin if what if, if he's pointing out that if a child commits a crime, he or she will immediately put into jail. Is that your point? 
Yes, because I believe that law was established to uh, to give justice. And kung yung crime na ginawa ng isang tao is uh, is enough para ikulong siya, then why not? Kasi every one of us must be um, responsible of our actions. Eh di ba nga um, igokitas sa juvenile justice law and under that law, may ginaprovide sindasan facilities like um, bahay pag-asa like that. Pero I think na, na even if the government implements such or you know, put facilities it's not enough for children and it's not not even friendly it's not even a child friendly facility because according to the mga surveys na children under those facilities um in a state being that na there's no enough utensils the facilities are not enough and it's not it doesn't feel like home inside there so i don't think implementing the lower i mean implementing the lowering age is really um really agreeable i don't think but the point is they have committed a crime so yun nga kung gumawa sila ng kasalanan kailangan nilang maparusahan according to what they have done Indeed, you have 40 seconds on the clock. And um, maybe one thing does the child deserve if he or she commits a crime? I'm sorry, can you please repeat the question? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Uh, what Ten kind seconds, of, maybe. Um, what do you think? Does a child deserve? If he or she commits a crime. Okay, time's up. That's all for round, round three. Well, thank you for presenting your argument for round three. That would be the last for rebuttal. So... At this moment, each team will be presenting their closing argument and speech with regards to, this, to their standing of lowering the age of criminal liability from 15 to 16 years state using argument or speech. The timer starts now. Team A. I believe that uh, it is just right to lower the age of criminal liability because uh, laws are made to protect the people and the society and not to punish them. And if you would just think in a way that law is implemented to deteriorate the rights of the people, then why are there still laws in our country? Why are there still uh, people who are making laws for the humanity laws are implemented to have a peaceful and organized humanity and not to have it otherwise so kaya nga kailangan mag-implement ng law para to warn people to teach them what's right team a you still have three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock please sustain I do believe that lowering crime uh, age liability will help the country to become progressive in the sense that the crime rate that the main suspect are the, uh, let's say, underage will become punished. And they deserve to be punished in the, in the, in the sense that they create, they made crimes that will, that so, yun nga yung point namin na dapat talaga ma ma maibaba yung age liability to protect the humanity also and also to the family of the victims. So, hindi naman pwede na patawarin na lang ng basta-basta. Especially kung yung, ano, yung, uh, yung 
big team was uh, was killed brutally. So hindi pwede yun. We still have two minutes and 43 seconds, Team A. Is there any addition? In addition, lowering the age of criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old is a must. Since, as stated with my team, the reason uh, 12 years old are ex extremely dangerous. They are among the demographic of children below the age of 15 who are responsible for less than 2% of all crimes committed in the country. A harrowingly huge statistic, never mind that that never mind that they were most likely commissioned by adults to perform as drug couriers and act as scant notch higher than PT theft and sniffing glue. You know those crimes they do when they act alone. According to the news report dispatched by the Washington Post, President Duterte pitched the move of lowering the age of criminal liability to stop a generation of criminal in its tracks. The Washington Post irresponsibly left out that the pitch might also be a move to stop generation of youth from being educated. We do not need more education. That is not the solution to climb to a climbing out of the status quo. Education in the long run would prove to be detrimental to our identity as a citizens of a third world nation. It is also short-sighted for human rights groups to state that 12 years old confined in jails or rehabilitation centers with hundred hardened criminal, criminals and delinquents would just educate them more as criminals, as if criminals were teachers. I mean, let's see that degree. The President Duterte has forward a thinker as they get pitching the move of lowering the age of criminal liability to stop a generation of criminals in its attack would be the best thing to do for the Filipino youth of today. We say jail them now so they can be cured of their early crookness and won't grow up as a crooks. That's all. That's all. Okay, team A, you still have 33 minutes. Most, um, most of all, um, God said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 to 45, that it must be an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. So it only implies that we have to take the consequences of what we have done. If we are just going to say that they are too young, I guess their parents can guide them and can teach them as young as they are so that they won't commit crimes that would help them liable okay time's up thank you team a for your closing arguments with regards to the issue so at this moment let's hear the closing speech or argument of the team hello so before we close this argument i'd like to ask if if a baby born house and kills the baby deserves to be con convicted, that's the... Excuse me? So... It's closing argument. So, you have mentioned in the, the, the benefits of lowering the age of criminal li liability will protect children. But how would it be a protection if children are convicted with the crime they committed? Isn't it violating the right, the child's right, to get the chance of being educated and to live a decent living? In B, you I'd have like three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Okay, I'd like to the call privileges in the Republic Act of 9344 of the Juvenile Gym Justice Welfare is actually a protect a protection not only of the child but of the possibility that children as punished or con convicted may create a multitude of problems in the future that will threaten the human rights principles in societal safety. So my team and I are really against this, you know, lowering the age of criminal responsibility to 12 will just empower those syndicates to use younger children for their illegal activities. We do not need to amend the law, we need to properly implement the existing law. Team B, you have three minutes. On and upward. Go on. According to RA 9344, 
The minimum age of criminal criminal liability is 15 years old. This means that those within the age of 15 to 18 years old may be detained in youth centers and go through rehabilitation programs, while those under 15 years old are exempted from criminal liability but must undergo intervention. So Solans from the Makabayan Block have also filed a house resolution which said that lowering the age of criminal liability to 12 years old and below was a rap and misplaced attempt to stem criminality. Child's Rights Network, a Philippine advocacy group which adheres to the principles set in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, said pushing for this very dangerous agenda will destroy the lives of the children. So all in all, sending children in jail could destroy their lives and we think they deserve it. One minute and 58 seconds, Team B. We still have if one minute and fifty two seconds. We'd like to add that the government is just looking to the sides and rights of these children. You know, they are just victims of circumstance driven by the environment surrounding them. And it is the law that should protect the children from the drivers of these crimes. And that would be done not through punishment or repression, rather by educating and engaging them in decent living conditions. Okay, one minute and 20 seconds, Cindy, we still have. I do agree that uh, children is just a victim of circumstances. And besides, if there is a law, why they focus on touching them instead of solving the problem? I believe parents should uh, also take penalties in counseling for the children. And if they think uh, sending children in prison is light, then they should improve juvenile justice law. After all, they're just victims of circumstances. I believe crime is uh, brought by worse circumstances. Circumstances, not just because they want to kill. And to send them in prison abruptly might not help. Uh, why not study for solution for the crisis? As most of the children belong to crime and also belongs to crisis as well. 27 seconds on the clock. Team B. Is there any addition? 15 seconds. Okay, time's up. Thank you everyone for sustaining this debate, a very essential and knowledgeable information in regards to the issue lowering the criminal liability of criminal liability from 15 to 12 years old. So thank you for both teams for having a very interesting and eligible debate about the prevailing issue in our community, which really depicts in their arguments. Indeed, the issue is very sensitive and relevant as well as in a social context. We were in crime, crimes in being held or committed by a youngster in a community with which alarms the safety of each individual. And for that, thank you very much. And that's how the class debate ends.